Hey everybody, this is Kim from the Longhorn Channel, and I am just giving you an update on uh, my three lovely heifers that I have not been filling you guys in too often with, but we've reached a, uh, a breakthrough with one of them. I'm going to flip the phone around and let's see. There we go. Okay, so we have... Oh. Uh, okay, this one is Gray Pearl. This one is Gray Star. So we have Star and Pearl. Pearl was the one that was drinking the water. Uh, Gray Star has recently discovered that she likes eating cubes from my hand and also that um, she likes pets. And we just discovered that within the last half hour. And now she's kind of unstoppable. Unstoppable. But um, in order to try and, and teach good manners, I have cut her off three times already um, from food and from the pets. And, uh, and I can't say that she really paid attention, but I think she did. And so that was pretty awesome. Uh, and I'm really happy to see this. Pearl's still a bully, by the way. Really happy to see this because yesterday morning, I think she got her horns stuck and they were messing with her uh, because it was cracked, this horn that I'm showing you right now. A little bit of dried blood above the ear there. Um, but there was blood from the bottom and blood from the back of the horn. Um... So I couldn't get close enough to truly, uh, truly see exactly what was going on with the horn. Um, but with her affection tolerance for being pet, uh, I did feel around a little bit. And um, it doesn't seem to have, it has a little bit more heat to it than the other one does. But it didn't seem to be tender at all. Uh, although I certainly wasn't scratching her on the wound. So, hopefully it ends up being a superficial kind of thing. And, uh, and if not, you know, even if we do lose the tip at some point, it's not going to be right now. And uh, she's still going to be a really awesome cow, even without it. Uh, with a bull that would have been more significant to his value and with a, uh, a cow that's also got some significance but uh, not a not an overwhelming amount let's just put it that way she's got a cute spotted nose that's my hand and yeah this is this is pretty cool So they're going to get halters put on them pretty soon. Um, and we're over with the rain. We still have a little bit of cold weather to go. But I think one of the biggest concerns is going to be that uh, I don't have a vet appointment for another week, which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. And, uh, and I really don't want to move them out of the trailer and then back in just to go to the vets. I think that creates uh, something of a bad association. But um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I think with them as getting as friendly as they are now that they're going to be ready for the halter and the breaking that comes with it. And uh, probably should not delay that just because of the vet appointment. So anyway, I hope you enjoy our uh, beautiful Gria calves that we're making here at Commander's Place Longhorns. And hope you have a good day and a very happy Halloween. Bye. Love y'all.